Today we are looking at the simple but possibly intimidating process for updating IME modules. This process should work the same for all current industrial music electronics modules and most of the older Harvestman products. The required tools are a laptop and a Picket 3 or 4 programmer. A link to purchase a programmer can be found in the description. Today we will be updating the firmware of the new Hertz Donut Mark III. First go to industrialmusicelectronics.com and find your module under the products section. Under the firmware tab we can find a download for the current firmware package. Unzip the folder and open the text file for specific instructions on updating. The hex file in the folder is our actual firmware file that we will be using later. The included readme file explains feature additions, changes, and bug fixes from all versions of the firmware. Scrolling down we can also find a link to download the programmer software. This link is also in the description. Once that is downloaded, we can install the software, which may take a few minutes. Now power up your modular system to view the current firmware if you are unsure if it is up to date. This varies with previous modules, but is displayed right on the startup of the Mark III modules. We can see these are both running out of date firmware. Now we can launch the MPLAB IPE application. As that's loading, remove your module from the case to access the programming pins, but keep the module plugged in as it needs power to update. Make sure you have a clean area and stable place to set the module when it is powered outside of the case. Now we can grab our Picket programmer and connect our module to the computer. Pay attention to the small triangle marking the first pin. This corresponds to the topmost pin of the module. Once the module is connected, you can plug it into your computer's USB port, then start up your system. Let's return to the README file for details on connecting our specific module.
Here we can copy the device number and paste it in the device section in MPE Lab. You can leave all families selected and you should see your picket model listed under the tool section. Now click apply followed by connect. It may take a second to connect if this is your first time running this software. We can now see the module has been found. Notice that next to tool it also says disconnect, confirming that we are connected. It's time to update. Click browse next to the hex file section and find the firmware file that we mentioned earlier in your downloads folder. Load it into the programmer. Now we can click program. The software will display that it is programming our module. This should take about 30 seconds. When programming is complete, you will hear a beep signifying success. Now click disconnect and remove the picket from your module. Always power down your system when moving things around. Before we screw it in, let's double check that we have updated successfully. Here we can see the Hertz donut now reads firmware 1.5, the current version. You're all good to go and can jump back into enjoying your modular.